Hi everybody, I am Katie Bell. I am the new community garden manager and educator here with the Conservancy. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about tomatoes. Everybody loves tomatoes. I see them all over all the three of the gardens. Um, so we're gonna just talk about a little bit of care now that our growing season is starting to ramp up. Um, we've got a bed here at Magnolia and um, these are beautiful determinant tomatoes that have um, stakes around them, our traditional tomato uh, stakes, but they're lush and they're beautiful, they're just too crowded. Um, and so one of the things that uh, you can do when you have a, a crowded area is go out and, and thin them. Um, a lot of gardeners don't like to do this because it can be a little, oh, I'm taking away the plant, but it's for the best health for the plant and to produce more fruit. Um, so without the flowers, there's no fruit. If the plant itself is creating more vegetation um, than flowers, then we need to take away some of that vegetation. It's basically spending all of its energy creating more leaves and stems instead of the flowers. Um, so what we're gonna do in this bed in particular is we are going to thin out the suckers. Now a sucker is basically an offshoot coming between uh, the main stem and a leaf, okay? Um, so this takes some time uh, when you first start learning how to do this, but if you can see, we've got really um, dark shady spaces down here. Um, that's great for keeping the soil cool, but that also can create pests uh, pe or a pest area. It can create fungus, um, mildew, and we don't want that on our tomato plants. Um, we wanna keep that space a lot of airflow in that space to prevent all of those pest problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically thin out some of this sucker growth. Um, so in the bottom here I see a big sucker coming from the main stem of this plant. It's kind of hard to see. Um, and all you need is a pair of pruners or a pair of scissors. You don't need any special tools. But we've got the main stem here. And this one's a little bit easier to see. We've got a leaf coming off the main stem. And then we have a sucker growth here. Um, and basically what's happening is the plant is sending out more energy to keep that stem alive. So we are going to prune that out. Now, this is where gardeners always kind of get me and say, oh, I'm losing plant See, That's a sucker. It doesn't have any flowers on it. And the, the plant is basically producing or creating energy just to keep this alive. So now I've created more airflow inside of there and I'm trying to initiate the plant to create more um, flowers, which is in turn is gonna create more fruit. Um, and so I'm gonna go in here pretty hard um, and take out quite a bit of these suckers. Again, creating airflow so that the plant is producing fruit and flowers, not a ton of foliage, okay? Um, as now, the sun is hitting, if you can see, the sun is hitting the soil now, okay? Um, and that's what we want. We wanna create that airflow where these plants are touching. And you can take off some leaves as well. Um, and I, what's even fun about this is you can do it when they're really young but you could stick this in water or stick it in a glass of or in the soil and it will initiate roots all along this stem so you could essentially create more plants for yourself um, and so if you're somebody that likes to propagate um, create new plants and you want to clone this is a great way to create a clone of that tomato plant that you just had um, you would stick that in soil it's gonna wilt, you're gonna have to really care for it, but then you're gonna be able to uh, create a new plant. But look, I've already created more airflow and more space in this tomato. We would do this, um, Sam and I are gonna do this to this entire bed of tomatoes. And um, it's funny, cause we didn't even know we had basil in there um, until we were looking, cause the, the plants have gotten so lush and so um, uh, they're cared for so well. So now our basil is gonna have more sun, um, and our tomatoes are gonna have more airflow, which is so important in setting that fl the flowers and setting fruit. 